Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an iTunes error 3194 on your Windows computer, perhaps when you're trying to install the software. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So you want to start by left clicking on the start button, type in File, Explorer, Options. Best match it comes up should say File, Explorer, Options. Left click to open that up. And now you want to left click on the View tab right here, right next to General. And underneath Hidden Files and Folders, you want to select Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. So left click inside the circle to fill it in. And then proceed to left click on Apply and OK. And once you've done that, you want to open up the Start menu. Again, type in This PC. Best match this time should say This PC, right above Desktop App. Left click on that. And now you want to go underneath your local disk where Windows is installed on. There will likely be a little Windows icon immediately next to it, indicating that that's where Windows is. You want to double click on it to open it up. And now you want to double click on the Windows folder. And now scroll down to get to System32. Right here. So again, double click on that. And now you want to go down to get to Drive or Drivers. As you can see, I went a little bit too far, but we have drivers, should be lowercase. Double click on that. And now near the top, there should be a few folders listed here. You want to double click on the ETC folder, and you can also search drivers up here if you can't find it. So again, ETC. And there should be something that says host in here. You want to right click on it. Left click on copy from the context menu. And then on blank space on your desktop, you want to right click. Left click on paste. Now on the file on our desktop, you want to double click on it. It's going to ask how you want to open this file. Left click on Notepad and then left click on OK. And now if you see anything in this Notepad file that says anything about Apple down near the bottom, you want to delete it and you want it to resemble something that appears like how it does on my screen. So if there's anything that says like Apple.com or anything, you want to delete it. And then once you've done that, click on File and then Save. And then once you've done that, the file on our desktop, you want to drag it by left clicking and holding it down. You want to drag it back into our drivers folder in here, right where our host is. You want to drag it back in. Left click on replace the file in the destination. And it will say you need to administer your permissions to move this folder. Select continue. And this will take a moment, so just be patient. And then once you're done, I'd recommend restarting your computer and then try and restart the application. And hopefully your problem has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope it helped you out. And as always, thanks. And I look forward to catching you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.